Voice hit you. Um, I'm gonna spike to 0.8 with that. It's 0.6 right now. Huh. Just stopped. I kind of go with the respect thing. You yeah. got your area, I got mine. I don't invade yours to, for fun, and you don't invade me. So it's kind of one of those. Jay, I'm getting hits over here. Yeah, I'm feeling something cool. Yeah, I felt it too. So. Where do you think we want to leave? Where is that? Well, I just got a, three, a spike to 3.4. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, I coming see, through the I door. I can't even see that. Well, I just got a, three, a spike to 3.4. Yeah, oh, okay. It's oh, coming see, through the I door. I can't even see that. Can't get it back. That's interesting. I mean, I did just walk through the doorway, so it might have been a slight temperature shift when I walked through the door. Right Okay. All right. So while we were on the tour, our guide Tom was um, working our way from here on the second floor of Madison Seminary up to the third. And you can see right here, we have cabling from our DVR cameras that are running throughout the building. There's a couple of cables right here as well. This is a lone cable that's running to the camera that we have on the third floor. So while we were coming up the steps, the order was Tom, our guide, was first, followed by Jamie, who was carrying the full-spectrum camera, and then Jeff, and then me. As I was coming up the steps about this point, um, Tom was actually already at the top of the stairs going through. Jeff was right in front of me about on that landing and said, did you do that? And I said, well, I didn't know what he meant. This cable had moved. When I got to about the second step right here, our guy, Janie was in front of me with the full spectrum camera. I don't know if it was in a field of view of the camera, but directly in front of Chris, where Chris is holding the camera, where you can see the cable is now taped down to that railing. The cable was about a foot and a half above the railing and dropped. Our guide was standing in the doorway behind where Chris is standing right now holding the camera. He wasn't anywhere near the cable. I had him in my field of view. I had the cable in my, my field of view and Janie in my field, field of view. Chris was nowhere near the ca cable at the time. But I literally saw that cable a foot and a half above that railing and just drop. We have no explanation for how that happened. Um, what's interesting is while we were on the tour, Tom indicated that also on the third floor in the back area where the private rooms are, um, other groups had experienced their DVR cameras having the cables tugged on. Okay, are we going up to three? Yep, yeah, one right upstairs. Awesome. To my knowledge, there's not really a whole lot of activity that goes down on that other end. Um, and I don't understand it. There's just like certain areas that this, this room or this hallway there is where the activity happens, but it doesn't go. Oh, that's something. That's not me playing a chord. I don't understand it. There's just like certain areas that this, this room or this hallway there is where the activity happens, but it doesn't go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's on me. That's on me playing a chord. Or this hallway there is where the activity happens, but it doesn't go. Oh. Or this hallway there is where the activity happens, but it doesn't go. Oh. Did you get that on video, Jenny? Jenny, did you capture that? Probably not. She would have been standing almost right next to the but I don't know. I mean, I wasn't paying attention to see if I got it. Really. Probably a bit too feet because that uh, connection was sitting right probably at the top of the rail. All right, as I was saying, this was kind of the lockdown. Maybe not such a lockdown, but the ambient of room. I got a point eight with it, though. Did your temperature in point eight? Yep, it just jumped to point eight and jumped right back down. I'm curious to see if it does anything down here with Tom. I'm sorry, Tom, go ahead. Oh, no worries. Point eight again. It's 
Point two. What's the baseline then? Twenty. That was just that was just a ten degree drop. Fifty three point five degrees, and it just stops. I wasn't moving. It's on. So it wasn't me that was moving. It was the temperature that was moving. Right. It's like it moved around you. And the temperature's gone up almost a full degree. Now it just dropped four degrees. You're being circled. It was at 54 and it literally dropped in an instant to 50 degrees. That's, uh, you know. Something weird going on in here. You get that. That happens from time to time. I'm steady at 50 degrees and point two now. Oh, there we go. We don't mean you any harm. It's interesting. Um, we have recently, we get the dogs back every couple, uh, we do the trainings here now uh, every couple months. And there are days where, you know, they're fine bouncing from room to room. And all of a sudden, one dog doesn't want to go in. Right. And, you know, the handler walks in and is trying to pull on the dog. And it's just sitting out in the hallway, giving the command to do the search of the room. And what what just, kind of dogs would those be? They're the German Shepherds. Yeah, like the uh, cop dogs. Looks. Trained Shepherd. Are you kidding no. me? No, I'm serious. I'm running the Iovilus right now, and we just picked up, as you were telling that story. Trained Shepherd. 